Good morning, everyone joining. Before we get started, we should wait for a couple more people to join. All right. Well, good morning, everyone. And before we get started this webinar, I just want to run through a couple of things. I just want to let you know that this webinar will be recorded and all attendees will be muted throughout the webinar. And to ask any questions, please use the Q&A facility at the bottom of your screen. And if you've dialed us in a guest today, you can view more information about becoming a member and have access to more events like this at www.sapusers.org slash register. And if you have any questions, please contact us at support at sapusers.org. I'll hand over to Vinad now, who'll be speaking on the rest of this webinar. Thanks a lot, Toby, for the uh, details, and I thank you all for uh, joining the uh, webinar. I will start by introducing my team. So I have got uh, Shashank Pale here with me. Shashank is our technical architect and our SAP expert. And uh, I have also got Ulysses Sarnatan with me. Ulysses is our software customer engineer. And I have also got Janine uh, Stippleton. Janine is our uh, UK office manager and our marketing associate. And uh, my name is Vinod, and I work as a solution consultant with uh, Simtrax. So I do have 14 plus years of experience in solution cult consulting, in which uh, eight plus years I've been helping uh, various businesses in their uh, digital transformation journey. And I've been with Simtrax for the past two years, helping uh, my customers uh, with their digital document transformation requirements like accounts payable and accounts receivable automation, meeting the invoice mandates, intelligent document processing, etc. So uh, coming to the webinar, uh, in this session, I will explain how your inbound uh, or supplier invoices can be uh, retrieved from the supplier side, how it can be automatically processed and seamlessly integrated to your SAP with ease. So I will uh, start with the first slide. So coming to the agenda, uh, here I will start with an overview where I will explain the core challenges that are there in the accounts payable process. And then uh, I will explain how these challenges can be automated or these challenges can be addressed using an automation solution. Then uh, we'll go for a solution demonstration where uh, Ulysses will uh, join us and Ulysses will run a live demo on how an inbound invoice can be automatically processed and integrated into your SAP. Then I will highlight some of our key solution offerings and I will try to vet it against the core challenges that I'll be covering in slide one. And uh, it will be followed by, um, I will hand over the session to uh, Janine, uh, where Janine will provide you an overview about Simtrax and she will give you more details uh, regarding our service offerings. And then we'll be having the Q&A session. So coming to the core challenges that are there in the accounts payable process. So for the past uh, two to three years, the accounts payable team has faced a lot of issues. And it's due to many reasons. It's due to the uh, COVID restrictions, the work from home, hybrid work setup, and also the economic pressure uh, due to the uh, increased inflation in the market. So how resilient your accounts payable team is in the face of heightened challenges and stress like never before? So during this time, a lot of businesses, they have raced through the, their journey of automation without even knowing like what exactly needs to be automated. They didn't even bother to think like uh, whether the solution that they have purchased, whether the solution can be customized to meet their end-to-end uh, -end business requirements. Eventually the project failed and the key takeaway is that before even you start thinking about automation, you should be aware of your business challenges. So I used to schedule back-to-back uh, -back meetings with my uh, existing customers and leads. And uh, the core intention is to get to know their challenges that they are facing in their business. So I do it even before pushing our solution or before uh, even proposing a solution demonstration or a commercial proposal. So once I'm aware of their key business challenges, I'll be in a position to you know, propose the most appropriate solution, making sure that our solution can be fully customizable to meet their requirement. So based on my um, interaction with my customers, I have identified four core challenges uh, 
uh, that prompted my customers to automate their accounts payable process. So I will uh, explain it one by one. So the first one, it's three-way matching or invoice reconciliation. Almost all of my customers, they were having issues with three-way matching. So what exactly is a three-way matching? So whenever you receive an invoice from your supplier, you need to uh, valid validate it against the purchase order or your goods receipt note. So your purchase order or your goods receipt note, it will be uh, you know either in your accounting software, your ERP, or in your SAP, or it will be even you know filed and stored as a hard copy. So you need to retrieve these copies and you need to validate it against the invoice. And finally, you need to file it and send it across to your accounts payable manager or the financial head for approval. So the problem is that it's gonna take a lot of time to retrieve these documents from the source. And you need to manually cross-check all the three doc documents and you need to validate it. And finally, the approval process, it's again gonna take a lot of time. So it consumes a lot of time and effort from your side. And the uh, second challenge, it's the manual data entry. So whenever you receive an invoice and if you're processing, processing your invoice manually, someone from your AP team need to manually key in all the details to the ERP or even to your SAP, right? The challenge is that it's gonna take a lot of time. And on top of that, uh, chances are that you're gonna make a lot of mistakes or errors. And maybe down the line, uh, uh, you know, in an auditory, you will get to know that, okay, something has gone wrong and you need to work all the way around to tackle that particular error. Obviously, it's going to take a lot of time. And the third challenge, it's the inefficient data extraction. So most of the businesses now uh, uses a conventional OCR technology, which is based on a template-based extraction. Things that you need to, uh, you know, go for or you need to... Uh, configure different templates if you're dealing with multiple documents. Suppose you are dealing with 50 different suppliers and you're receiving 50 different uh, invoices from your suppliers. You need to go for 50 different templates to extract uh, data out of, those, uh, out of those invoices. And the accuracy or the confidence score will be less than 30 percentage. So it's high time that you need to adopt uh, something like an AI or ML based data extraction solution. And again, the uh, next challenge is that multi-format document. So you'll be receiving invoices in different format. It, uh, it can be something like a text file, a PDF file, an Excel file, or it can be even in a machine-readable format. So how are you gonna process a document which is in a machine-readable format? Obviously it's impossible and uh, for the remaining document, documents, it's gonna take a lot of time. So, there are uh, many more bottlenecks associated with the core challenges, like at any given point of time, you won't be able to track the status of a particular invoice. You either need to check with your team members, your manager, or you need to browse through the you know uh, different list of invoices to track the status of the same. And also, what if you are dealing with huge quantity of uh, invoices, say 5,000 to 6,000 invoices per month? It's going to take a lot of time if done manually. So next we will be having a poll. So uh, you'll be provided with 40 seconds to answer this. So what is your biggest challenge when it comes to processing supplier invoices? Now, Toby, if you could uh, start the poll questions. I've launched the questions now. Thank you. So thanks a lot for your response. And I can see that majority of the audience has opted for manual data entry and invoice reconciliation. Yeah, uh, it's similar to what I have uh, you know, uh, mentioned in the previous slide. All my customers do face a lot of issues uh, when dealing with uh, three-way matching and you know, manually processing on the inbound invoices. So 
So how can, how can these challenges be addressed? Obviously, it will be through an automation platform. So you want an automation solution that can uh, you know, retrieve the invoices from the supplier side, process it uh, based on your business requirement, and finally integrate uh, the processed invoices either to your accounting software, your ERP, or your SAP. So using one of our solution offering that is Comblio Invoice Platform, I will explain how the end-to-end -end process can be automated. So the supplier can send the invoices to the customer through different channels. It can be as an attachment in an email or it can be even through a public portal. So there are e a lot of invoicing mandates happening across the globe. Uh, just to give an example, the Sarka invoicing project in Saudi Arabia and also the Chorus Pro uh, platform in France. These are some of the examples. And all the businesses are expected to clear their invoices through the centralized invoicing portal before uh, the invoice is being sent out to the customer. So it's a mandatory requirement. So the supplier can integrate their invoices to the public portals and the automation solution should be should have the capability to retrieve the invoices from the uh, public portals. Also, the supplier can uh, upload the invoice through the supplier portal so that uh, the automation solution can directly retrieve it uh, using API calls. And still there are uh, different sources like Still, some of the suppliers go for the paper-based copy of the invoices and the customer is expected to convert it into a digital copy before processing it. So what will be the channel through which the invoices are being received? Comblio invoice platform can identify the document at the source and it can, it can retrieve the corresponding invoice and process it accordingly or attach it to a workflow, an automation workflow. So. Comblio Invoice Platform, it's a highly customizable platform. Here I have included uh, some of the scenarios uh, as per what we have implemented for our uh, customers. So I will just go through that one by one. So the first one is verification. So after receiving an invoice from the supplier, an internal user uh, from the customer side will receive a notification mentioning that, okay, you need to intervene and you need to perform some action. So it can be like, uh, you know, verifying whether the inbound invoices, all the mandatory fields and checking the supporting document, et cetera. So the internal user can uh, log into the application to Comblue Invoice Platform. He, he can uh, you know, cross-check the invoice. He can check the supporting document. And uh, apart from that, he can assign the inbound invoice to a particular accounts payable team member. So this process can be completely eliminated if it's not relevant to you and automatically uh, the invoice can be assigned to an accounts payable team member. So I just want to show you the capability of the solution. That's why I'm explaining it in detail. So after assigning the invoice to the corresponding accounts payable team member, automatically in the back uh, in the back end, data, all the relevant data from the invoice will be extracted. So it can be like the invoice related data, like the line items, uh, the quantity, the unit price, the total price, the tax amount, et cetera. Along with that, the vendor information will all, uh, the supplier information will also be retrieved. So using those unique identifiers, a Comblio invoice platform will use these details to retrieve the corresponding purchase order from the SAP or even from your ERP. Using that, three-way matching will be done. So three-way matching and data extraction will happen in the backend. And if at all there is any sort of anomaly noted, it will be uh, notified to the corresponding accounts payable team member. So now the accounts payable team member can log into the Comblo invoice platform and he can check uh, the invoice. He can check whether there are any anomalies noted. And if yes, the same document can be attached to a approval workflow so that it can be sent across to the financial head. And he in turn can make a decision and assign it back to the accounts payable team member. So thus the invoice will be processed and the processed invoice will be uh, integrated with the SAP or to your ERP. So in SAP, it will be something like a parked invoice or a draft invoice so that uh, through the SAP interface, you can make changes to the invoice if at all, there, if at all uh, you want to make any changes. Here you can see another module that is Comblio Archiver, which is basically our archiving solution. So after processing the invoice, we can configure a workflow wherein the processed invoice can be archived in Comblio Archiver and all the metadata tags, everything will be automatically configured so that the internal users, they can retrieve this document uh, just by typing in some keywords. And also a link can be provided to external users so that they can access the document uh, using that link. So this is how Comblio Invoice Platform can automate the end-to-end -end process. 
Now I will explain how Comblue invoice platform can be integrated with SAP. So we had different scenarios wherein the customer has asked for different options to integrate Comblue invoice platform with their SAP. So due to some technical uh, issues or some internal compliances, uh, they won't be able to directly integrate third-party systems with their SAP. So in that case, what we are going to do, so I will invite uh, Julius and Julius will provide you more details on that. So over to you, Julius. Thank you, Vinod. Uh, yeah, sure. So first of all, I would like to mention that we are an SAP certified solution provider. And with the help of SAP Active Connectors, we are able to retrieve information directly from the SAP. And one of our other capabilities is to integrate or just prompt our solutions to, to see more information about their documents uh, with the use of standard RFC connectors or BEPI calls. And if by any reason, uh, the direct integration with our solution is not possible with your, with your SAP, we can always go for just a folder monitoring solution, which is not uh, directly linked to your SAP due to some uh, policies or security reasons. Thank you. And back to you, Vinod. Thanks a lot, Julius. Uh, so as Julius has mentioned, we are an SAP certified uh, solution provider. And if direct integration is not possible, we can monitor a folder or uh, we can monitor an output device wherein uh, if you print a document from SAP, the document will be made across the output device and Comblue invoicing platform can automatically automatically retrieve the document, identify and retrieve the document and attach it to a workflow. Now we will move on to the second poll. So what is your main concern when it, when integrating automated solutions with your SAP system? So thanks a lot. And uh, majority of the audiences have opted for internal compliance issues and additional ABAP development uh, that needs to be carried out. So obviously the security concern, it's very important when, uh, when you are dealing with complex set of data. And also additional ABAP development, it's gonna you know, cost you a lot of money and a lot of configuration changes needs to be done in your existing SAP. So that is another offering of our solution. No. Uh, no need to change anything on your side. No need to custom the SAP system from your side for integrating Comblue invoice platform. So thank, uh, thank you all for your response. And we will move on to the next slide. Now we will start with the solution demonstration. So before handing over the control to Julius, I would like to explain the process flow that Julius will be following for the demo. Uh, to start with, the supplier will be uh, sending an invoice to the customer. So it will be in the form of a uh, PDF document uh, attached to an email. So there will be two PDF documents, the first one invoice and uh, the second one, it will be a supporting document. And at the customer side, the documents will be automatically retrieved uh, from the mail server and one of the internal user will be notified regarding the invoice. So the user can log into the application and he can check the invoice and the supporting document and he can you know assign the document to the corresponding ap team member so once it has been uh, assigned to the ap team member automatically uh, the relevant information will be extracted in the backend using azure form recognizer and uh, the extracted information will be used to call uh, the purchase order related details using bapi calls from sap and three way matching will be done in the backend and uh, in the demo, there will be an anomaly noted and it will be notified to the accounts payable team member so that the accounts payable team member can uh, check and assign the document for an approval to the buyer. And if the buyer or the accounts payable team manager, uh, after approving it or after authorizing it, 
the APT member can process the invoice and it will be integrated with the SAP. It will be uh, in the form of a part invoice or a draft invoice, which you can edit through the SAP interface. So I will hand over the control to Julius and Julius will explain, I will run the demo. Thank you, over to you, Julius. Thank you, Vinod, and thanks everyone for your attention. I will start by sharing my screen. Okay, so right now, uh, this is the first screen. This is the login screen of the our Compleo invoice platform. And first of all, I will start by playing the role of the supplier. And as a supplier, I will draft an email uh, that will be sent to the Compleo invoice platform. I will use my my title, which is an Amazon order. And in this email, I will have an attachment of another email. And in this attachment, we can see that I have two files. One of the files will be an invoice from Amazon. We can see here all the address fields and all the total, total amounts with all the dates and the reference to the purchase order. And the next document will be a supporting document for this invoice, which is uh, linked to the, trans to, the trans to the transaction of the invoice. So right now I can go ahead and click send. <clears throat> After sending this file, I will terminate by being in the role uh, of the supplier. And right now I will switch to an internal user from the customer side. And as an internal user, I will just log in in the platform. This internal user can be anyone but they have they must have an access to the mail entry section and we can see here in the mail entry section that we have some information about our last emails we have the option here to sort them yeah so we can see right now we just received one more email it was the one that i just sent we have some information in the first column about the sender we have a service column, which I will explain in a second. We have here, we can see the number of attachments, the subjects, the date and the status, which needs review. The service column is about, uh, for example, if your company has multiple offices around the world, for example, in London in, or in Paris, uh, we can set up more regions and the functionality of this, I will show you in a second. Uh, Right now, we can go ahead and uh, see the files. And right here, when you review the entry, we can see on the top right hand, top left hand side, the initial email sent by the vendor. We may have here more information about uh, the header or the body. And then under, we have all the attachments and we are able to click each attachment. We are able to see it on the right hand side. And for example, as someone from the internal team, we can look at this file and we can for sure see that it is an invoice. Here we have a type with a dropdown. We can select the type of the invoice and based on this type, it will trigger an automatic workflow in Azure. Uh, after we selected the type, we can also choose the accountant that we will delegate this invoice to. And for the sake of this demo, I will use our demo account for accounting. And when we look at the next file, we can see that it is a supporting document for the mentioned invoice. We can see here, we can choose a supporting document and that it is linked to the previous invoice. And right here, we have this button here forward. When we have this button, for example, if by mistake, this email was sent to our entity in Paris and not the company in, uh, in London, we can delegate it to the right region. But for the sake of this demo, we will keep it as such. Click cancel. And right now we will just click apply. After we click this button, uh, our, uh, our accounting member or someone from the AP team will be no notified that an, a new email or a new file was received and there's in need of, uh, of their attention. And now I will switch to, to the role of the accounting member. I will log in in the platform. And right here, we can see on the second section, we can also refresh. If we look at the last entry, we can see 
some data extracted from the invoice. We can see the some relevant data like the invoice number, when it was received in our system, when it was last up, up, updated. The last updated, it's it's when the, our um, mail entry was edited by the by the first user. The date of the invoice and other information of the region, of the accountant, and the total amounts from uh, from the invoice. We will have more more information later after we edit this invoice, but for now we can go ahead and look at the status and we can see that it needs verification. We will go ahead and click on it. <clears throat> and we are prompted to this screen here. Behind this, uh, in the background of this process, we are communicating with Azure Form Recognizer. We have plenty of trained models that can uh, look for specified data uh, given by us. So for example, whether if, if it's an invoice or other types of uh, documents like the credit note or, or a debit note, we can design specific workflows for every of this process. And based on your needs, we can gather all the needed data and uh, proceed with these uh, actions. So right here, we can see on the, right, on the left hand side, we have our invoice. And on the right hand side, we have some information about it. The first section will be the invoice manager, which is us. It's our account, demo accounting right now. We also have the capability to change this, uh, the owner of the invoice, but for now we will keep it like this. We have the customer information from the invoice, which was taken by Azure. We can see here, we can select all the fields and we can look from where it was retrieved. In the next section, uh, we have vendor information, and this section is actually uh, taken from the SAP through BAPI calls. We can see here uh, we have the source, which is the PO number 4500. Uh, the source uh, was taken from the invoice as well, because uh, our system was able to tell that it is a PO number, and automatically it was matched from our, our data from the SAP. We can go ahead and click the magnifying glass. And we see that uh, we see here what data was extracted from the invoice and what data we had in our SAP. We also have the red field here because in some cases, uh, a red field may appear maybe in the invoice, your uh, the vendor uh, has updated their address or any of their details, and it's not uh, anymore uh, related to what data you have in your SAP. But for now, this is not a showstopper and we can proceed like this. Down below, we have more invoice information like the invoice number, the dates, or uh, the total amounts and currencies. These fields uh, can again be edited uh, uh, by your needs. Anything you need, you, we can create it here. We have the purchase order information and the last update. I will speak about the last section uh, in the next step. And for now, I can, as an IP manager or a, an accounting person, I can go ahead and generate the invoice. But for this demo, uh, we will add another step that includes validation from the buyer. In the next tab, we have the attachments. And we can see here, we can find the supporting document, which was uh, selected uh, by our internal user as a supporting document. This is why you can see it in the next tab. Here we are able to add more supporting documents and we will proceed uh, like this for now. The next tab, the validation tab, here we can um, send this file for verification to a buyer or another user from within our company. And for example, we will do it. We will use this demo account as a buyer. We will try to check if the goods are good to pay. I will input my message. Please cross check. And right now I will send. Right now we can see that the status has changed to buyer validation. And as an accountant, for now my job is done. I will now switch, go and switch to the role of um, a buyer or someone from the internal team. I will log in as the buyer. And we can see here the last invoice. For example, we have the same information that we had as an accountant. 
we can see who who sent it to us we can we can see here more fields added now we have the buyer which is our account we have the validation status which right now it's need validation and as well the the total amounts we can go ahead and click on the buyer validation status right here first we will be prompt to the validation tab with the reason of why we we got this file and we can go ahead and check the file for the relevant fields as well and for example here we can see that in the invoice the quantity of the items is two but uh, due to any reason this quantity can change we can go ahead and and change it ourselves from here for example uh, we can change here uh, for example if we got only one we can input it as one click enter and we can see that, inv that the invoiceable amount will change. As well, it will change here to red because it's not matching with our purchase order anymore. But for just to show this functionality, we can, for this demo, we'll go ahead and, and proceed without uh, this step. We can also see the attachment as before. And it, if everything is okay, we can go ahead and comment good to pay. We can, and then we can approve or reject the invoice. And as a buyer, for now, I will approve. We can see that the invoice status was changed again to need verification. The validation was accepted by the buyer. And right now, I will have to switch back to the role of, of an accountant or someone from the AP team. I will log in. And we can see now the new uh, validation status that is accepted and that it needs our verification again. We'll go ahead and go in it. And here at validation, we can see that first of all, we have requested this demo, bu this buyer to check the file. We can see the dates and we can see that right now our buyer was has replied that it is good to pay. And if there's nothing else uh, needed to change, we can go ahead and generate invoice. We have we also have a tab of events. We can see here basically all the history of the process of this specific invoice. We can see all the users that have interacted with it and the time. This uh, can be used for a tracking system and uh, if needed for your company. We can go and right now, because everything is valid, we can go ahead and generate invoice. After clicking this button, our uh, our system will integrate this invoice into the SAP. We can see here that the status was changed to integrating. It usually just takes a couple of seconds. If we refresh again, we can see that it is integrated successfully. And right now, if we scroll to the end, we can see the invoice ERP number section. And this is the reply from the SAP. We have the document number here and the status of the SAP. And for example, if we take the document number and we copy it, I will go now into my SAP server. I will use the command mirror seven. And for example, here, if I'm looking for this file, we can see that it is integrated in the SAP and we have all the relevant fields like the date, the amount, the reference, and of course the, the line items with their amounts. So for now, uh, this demo uh, was ended. So I thank everyone for your attention and back to you Vinod. Thanks a lot, Julius. I think you can see my screen. So thanks a lot. And uh, now you have seen how the end-to-end -end, end -end process uh, involved, uh, of the end-to-end -end process that uh, involved in your accounts payable process has been automated. And we have included different scenarios just to uh, show you the level of customization that can be done. And based on your business process, the solution can be customized uh, to cater to your requirement as well. So we will move on to the next slide. Now I will uh, highlight some of the unique solution offerings and I will uh, bet it against the challenges that I have mentioned in the first slide. So fully automated three-way matching is possible. 
So after retrieving the invoice details, uh, after extracting information out of the invoices, automatically uh, we use BAPI calls to retrieve the corresponding purchase order and the goods received note information from uh, the SAP. And uh, in the backend, uh, the three-way matching or the invoice reconciliation will be done. So a uh, comparison between the line items, uh, like the number of the quantity, the unit pricing, uh, then the tax, the total amount, everything will be done automatically and no need for you to you know, spend uh, days or week for uh, performing the three-way matching. Everything will be done within minutes or even within seconds. Now, Comblio invoicing uh, invoice platform can not only be used for automating your accounts payable process, it can be used to uh, automate your accounts receivable process, your out processing your outbound invoices. And also smart data extraction can be done. And we do have a ready-made solution available for uh, you know, catering to your e-invoice e mandate requirements like uh, Sartka project in Saudi Arabia or the Chorus Pro platform in France, et cetera. So just a matter of uh, slight uh, customization so that you can use the solution uh, as per your business requirement. So you are investing investing on a single platform that can cater to, you, to all of your digital document transformation need. On top of that, yeah, CIP, the Comblay Invoice platform, also comes with a reporting module. And especially for audits, if you want a customized report, it can be configured using a Comblay Invoice platform. So Ulysses has already covered this and uh, uh, just uh, give you a high-level overview. So Comblay Invoice platform can be integrated with uh, any of your SAP version, like SAP ECC, R3, HANA, or even SAP B1. And if direct integration is not possible, we will either monitor a folder, an FTP folder, or even an output device. And we can retrieve information using BAPI calls from SAP and also the processed invoice or the invoice related information can be integrated uh, to your SAP using standard BAPI. Now, intelligent document processing. So here, Julius will give you an overview about uh, how data can be extracted or how smart uh, data uh, extraction can enhance your business process. Again, over to you, Ulysses. Yeah, thank you, Vinod. So from our research, we have found out that the AP team us usually is wasting more than 40% of their time to uh, manually extract and integrate data into the ERP, which is uh, SAP in your case. And after this, we had the conventional OCR which is uh, sadly limited to just a number of um, templates or if you are dealing with multiple formats uh, within your business process, OCR cannot be reliable uh, as it cannot uh, search for data that is uh, typed in uh, different spaces along multiple types of invoices. And this is why at SimTrunks, we, we are using Azure Forms Recognizer and with the use of Azure Form Recognizer, we can quickly identify the type of, of the document, whether if it's an invoice or a supporting document. We can train models with AI and ML to carefully look for the needed information. And then we can use this information to progress in, uh, in automating the invoice into, the, into your ERP. Thank you, Vinod. Back to you. Yeah, thanks a lot, Julius. So as Julius has mentioned, intelligent interpretation of the extracted data is possible. So uh, the system can uh, learn from the fields, layouts, and the data that has been extracted, based on which it can use algorithms to identify different uh, data patterns, which again can help in uh, you know decision making. So this is just an example of smart data extraction. On the left hand side, you can see an, see an invoice in French and on the right hand side you can see the extracted information from the invoice. You can see that uh, yeah, the English uh, uh, the values has been extracted with very high confidence score that too from a French invoice. Now uh, here you can see that the customer number has been extracted correctly and also when we consider a handwritten text, it can be extracted with ninety nine percentage uh, accuracy from the inbound documents. So here uh, we call it something like a confidence score, which is basically the accuracy of the extracted information. For normal uh, OCR or the conventional OCR, it will be less than 30% uh, or even 
uh, 20%, but uh, when we go for smart data extraction, it can be even as high as even 99%. So just uh, the last Paul, uh, what level uh, is your business at uh, in the automation journey of supplier invoice processing? <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you for your uh, response. And I can see that it's less than 20 percentage. So almost, uh, I mean, like uh, almost all the audiences, they are, they are just in the initial phase of automation. Thank you. Now uh, I invite Janine to give an overview about Simtrax and uh, some of our core solution offering. Over to you, Janine. Thank you, Vinod. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Perfect. So just to give you all a little bit um, of background about Simtrax, for over 30 years, Simtrax has helped craft, tailor, and seamlessly integrate customer-specific, platform-independent software solutions, along with cloud-based, automated document interchanges. We have associated with over 3,500 customers across varying industry, horizontals, and verticals, and meet the needs of all industries by providing customized solutions. Simtrax has eight offices globally, and due to the strategic positioning of these offices, we can provide 24-hour support to our customers. On average, we have 12 years of customer loyalty, and it's good to note that Simtrax has technology partners with SAP, Microsoft, and IBM. I'd like to just explain a little bit about our expertise, um, which centers around document management. And uh, first off, we offer a digital business platform that seamlessly connects with your existing systems, whether on-premise, cloud, or SaaS-based. We have four categories we specialize in. So you can see there enterprise e-invoicing. Um, we automate e-invoicing with secure integration in multiple countries while remaining compliant. Then the signature solutions, we customize and, op and automate digital and electronic signature workflows for your entire enterprise. Then we have EDI ready process automation. It, you can experience secure data exchanges between trading partners with API. And then digital data and document transformation. Um, here you can enhance and automate your business processes. So just to give you an overview of our customers, we've just got a few logos on there. And we've just said to you that they already trust us. This is just a few and an example. Thank you so much, Vinod. Thanks a lot, Janine, for the overview. And we will move on to the Q and A stage. And uh, yeah, if you're having any if you're having any questions, please feel free to uh, furnish them through the Q and A chat window. So uh, I have got a question. Uh, does the solution deal with non-PO uh, invoices as well? Obviously, a Comblo invoice platform can deal with non-PO invoices as well. Like I've mentioned, uh, the CIP platform, the Comblo invoice platform is highly customizable. 
So uh, obviously on receiving a non-PO invoice, you will be having or you'll be provided with an interface wherein you can, uh, you know, include all the details and you can, you know, also configure automated uh, workflows for processing non-PO invoices. So I think by non-PO invoices, you mean like the internal expenditures and everything. So yeah, we can uh, make, uh, we can automate the workflow. We can create a new workflow for processing non-PO invoices as well. It is there. Uh, I've got a second question. So are there hard stops? It's humble, bank details are different. So here, the hard stop or a show stopper, it depends upon uh, the way you want to configure the workflow. Uh, obviously, when Ulysses uh, was running the demo, you could see that there was a slight uh, difference uh, in the postcode uh, that, that was originally in the SAP and uh, that was there in the invoice. In that case, we can configure that it's not a hard stop. You can continue uh, with the uh, with your uh, with your uh, activity. In that case, yeah, obviously bank details are a bit critical. If you want to uh, make it a hard stop, we can configure like that. So uh, I have got another question. How is the platform data initially populated with users and purchase orders? Uh, is it automated or does it need to be manually loaded? So normally we do provide a DB editor to which, uh, in which we use a mass migration and we can use that data for reference if it is required. But normally in your uh, SAP or even in your ERP, by default, all the user data will be there. You might have loaded it from your site. And if it's not available, we can go for a DB editor or we can uh, go for a mass migration in which you'll be provided with an interface through which you can you know, uh, uh, migrate all the user information to your DB. It is possible. And, uh, and the question is that, uh, is the platform uh, GDPR compliant? Yes, uh, all of our platform is GDPR compliant. And uh, and the question is that how long is an average Im implementation for the platform? On an average, I would say it will take uh, 10 to 15 days, 15 man days. Uh, since uh, we are experienced in this particular industry or in this particular scenario, we do uh, we are aware of uh, different bottlenecks that are there uh, in your particular industry. Uh, with that information, yeah, obviously we can uh, complete an, uh, an implementation within maximum 10 to 15 days. Again, it depends upon the complexity of your business, like how many levels of workflows are there, and what formats of document that you deal with, et cetera. Is there a migration path required if initially on SAP, ECC, and moving to HANA? So if my understanding, if I if I correctly, uh, you know, followed your question, I think Comblio invoice platform is something like a plug and play. So currently, if you're using SAP, ECC, obviously we can integrate with your SAP, ECC. And in the future, if you're moving to HANA, it can be, uh, you know, again, connected to your SAP HANA and uh, seamless integration is possible. I assume I have answered your question correctly. If not, I can provide you more details uh, regarding that. Yeah, thank you.
So uh, we do have another question. So how does the licensing model work? Is it transactional or number of vendors or number of users or something else? I would say it's a combination of transactional and the number of users. So transactional as in, uh, especially we are using Azure models to uh, retrieve information or extract information out of uh, the invoices. In that case, it's transactional. But normally we do provide a fixed subscrip subscription fee for uh, the different modules. And, uh, you know, when it comes to the licenses, yeah, uh, we normally provide uh, two base licenses for our users to start with. That's the minimum package that we are uh, providing. Do you have any details on the ROI uh, for your previous customers? It, uh, yes, we do have an ROI details with us for our uh, previous customers and the existing customers as well, which I can provide you over a meeting. Maybe I can uh, you know, uh, schedule another, meet, uh, another meeting with you. I can give an overview of our solution, the ROI, some of the use cases that we have uh, done for uh, some of our customers. I can just provide uh, more details through uh, you know, another session. We'll just give it another minute, see if there's any more questions coming in. <clears throat> and then if not, we can end it early there. Uh, thanks, Toby. Uh, here uh, you can see my contact details. You can either call me directly on this number or you can send me an email uh, with your queries and I'm um, free to answer your questions. And you can scan this QR code uh, so that you can connect me with me through LinkedIn as well. Uh, yeah, will we receive a copy of the session, please? Yeah, obviously, uh, the copy of this session will be made available. Uh, uh, it will be available in the UK SUG platform, and also we can provide you, uh, it will be there in the YouTube as well. You can check for SIM tracks. There will be a YouTube channel in which the recording will be available. And also, I'm, uh, I can schedule a call. If you want more details, uh, we can have a call and uh, separately I can provide you with more details like the use cases, the number of different scenarios that we have configured, uh, like the ROI, etc. Thanks a lot, Toby. Thank you. And thank you everyone for dialing in today. And if that is all the questions, then we can end it there. Once again, thank you Vinod, for speaking on this webinar. Yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks a lot, Toby. And thanks a lot for everyone for attending the session. And thanks, Julius, Shashang, and Janine for supporting me. Thank you and have a great day. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, everyone.